Welcome legends. Wall jumping or wall bouncing is one of the key movement techniques to master in Apex Legends Mobile. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to wall bounce off of a short fence or ledge and off of a tall wall. There are two ways you can bounce off a wall. Number one is called ledge jumping. You should start by sprinting towards a ledge and then jump at the ledge. Once you reach the ledge, release the joystick and press jump again to kick off the ledge. This technique only works for ledges and you cannot just bounce off any wall using this. For this to work, you should not be moving forward when you grab the ledge. If you do, you'll climb the ledge. To avoid climbing, you need to either turn off auto sprint or move your auto sprint lock just above the finger resting position on your screen. Number two is wall bounce. This technique is used to bounce off tall walls and you don't need to stop moving forward to do this. Actually you have to keep moving forward for this to work in the first place. Now let's see how to do this. As before you have to start by sprinting towards a tall wall and when you come close to the walls you have to climb the wall by jumping on it and moving forward. You should keep moving forward until your character starts the climb animation and then you need to swipe on the jump button to kick off the wall. If you stop moving forward when you touch the wall your character will fall down leaving you unable to perform the jump. And by the way guys you can also add some randomness to your movement by adding a slide just after you bounce off a wall. If you bounce off the wall and press slide when you are in the air you will slide when you touch the ground. So you don't have to press just when you touch the ground you can press it when in the air and you will do it coming up next we will take a look at the key differences between these two methods of wall jumping or wall bouncing whatever you call it but before that if you're finding value in this video drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this okay guys now let's look at the key differences between these methods both methods can be used for different types of movement and situations the first method only launches you perpendicular to the wall so you always land a straight perpendicular to your contact point but in the second method you will always launch in the direction of climbing that is if you climb at an angle and not straight up you will launch in the same angle that you are climbing in therefore you can use this method creatively that's it thank you for watching check out the channel for more guides and tips